Hello and welcome to the Criminal's Official Dart Math Video Guide. This is going to be the video tutorial breaking down checkouts 2 through 40. You're going to kind of, kind of get to see the format for how we're going to do this for each of the numbers. The first thing and the main thing to keep in mind throughout this entire video are the key principles. One, leave a double that can split. On the board, I've highlighted the doubles that you'll want to get yourself to. Double 20, double 10, double 16 and its tree, double 12, and double 6. Really should not be leaving anything else. We want to avoid all the doubles, like double 5, double 15, double 17, double 19, double 13, double 11. Avoid the ones that don't split. The second thing is to aim for a split wedge when possible. That's what I talked about in the introduction video. Multiple wedges together that are both odd or even. The 7, 19, 3, 17, four wedges that are all odd. 8 and 16, two wedges that are even. 10 and 6, two wedges that are even. If you keep these two things in mind, you won't really have to think about what's my checkout path. You'll think about what do I need to hit to get myself to a good double? Or where can I aim to give myself the best chance to miss and still be on a good number? With that said, let's get into the checkouts themselves. We're not going to go over every single checkout, but there are a few I'd like to highlight. Starting with five. The main route that you want to go, one to the double two. However, I have seen a lot of professionals go three to double one. A couple reasons behind that. The three is a nice vertical wedge, straight up and down. So if you're aiming at the 20 all game, it might be easy for you to hit this three. And obviously with either number, it's a bust on the wrong side, so you have to hit that big number first. Secondly, double ones at the top of the board compared to double two at the bottom. Some players prefer doubles up here. So if you are one of those players that feels like you can throw it straight and you prefer a double at the top of the board, that's an option. But the best route for most of us is going to be the double one to the double two that splits. Next, let's look at number seven. I see a lot of players go one to double three. That's a bad idea. Double three is a terrible double to leave yourself on. Make your job easy. Three to double two. Gives you a nice double that can break down. This is a bad route. Don't do it to yourself. The same thing applies to 11, 13, 15, and to some extent, 17 and 19 as well. Get yourself to a good number. 11, 3 to double 4. Don't go 1 to double 5. Double 5 doesn't split. Double 4 splits 3 times. Make your job easy. 13, 5 to double 4. Get yourself to the good double, not 3 to double 5, not 1 to double 6. 15, same idea. 7 to double 4. If you really are not confident about hitting the 7 because it's a tricky number, this one I say it's okay to hit 3 to double 6 because some people might think 3 is easier to hit. But the ideal route, 7 to double 4. Another one to consider <clears throat> is the 17. Optimal route, 1 to double 8 because of course double 8 is going to break down all the way. However, aiming for one does mean you'll have a bust on either side with a miss. So a lot of people could go nine to double four. If you miss nine into 12 or 14, your turn is still alive. Of course, you have to clean up a tricky number as five or three, but you're not bust yet. So that's an option to consider. Now, we're getting into split territory. Let's look at a number that can split. 23. Optimal route, 
seven to double eight. However, it can split. 19 to double two is okay. So what you wanna do when you're aiming for a split wedge is aim towards the side that you're gonna miss on. Sorry, this is moving. So we wanna aim right here, away from the 16, but in the seven wedge for our optimal target. This gives us the most margin of error left still within the seven, as well as bringing the 19 into play. You can do the same from 23 on the three side of things. Three here to double 10, also missing into that 19 for double two. Again, we wanna aim here to the left side of the three. We wanna avoid 17 to double three. That's not gonna be great. The next one I want to look at is 31. For me, 7 to double 12 is optimal. But again, 19 to double 6 is not terrible. Same principle applies. Aim to the right side of the 7. If we hit it, double 12. If we miss into 19, we're still alive to double 6. Another splitting number is the 35. 3, of course, leaves double 16. 19 leaves double 8. So once again, we can really aim right in between the two. The only thing we need to avoid is this treble here and this double here. Right in between the two, maybe slightly to the side of the 3, and we're going to be on a good double. The last thing to consider when you're in these numbers, 2 through 40, is do you want to split an actual doubling number? Let's look at 38 for example. Double 19 for a lot of players is a very difficult number to hit. For one, if you miss inside, you're now on single 19, meaning you have to go three to double eight and clean up your turn. Also, if your darts lay vertically in the board, shooting a double at the bottom of the board can be difficult because your darts may block the bed. What's nice about 38 is you can split it into two different wedges. You can either hit the 10 for double 14 or the 6 for double 16. This gives you a good margin of error because what you don't want to do is split numbers and then miss the big number and now you're not on a double still. So if you're gonna split a number ever, 38 is a good option because you can aim right here into the six on the lower half, giving yourself the margin of error of the whole six and the 10, and either way, end up on a good double. I will say if you are gonna go straight for the 19 with three darts in hand, your first dart needs to be very aggressive. You don't wanna miss outside. It's much better to miss inside on that first dart to give yourself a chance to clean up than missing outside and having to now pick away, afraid to go inside the double. Throw an aggressive first start if you're going to go directly at it. Again, guys, you can see the checkout guide online, so make sure you check it out. But that's what we're talking about, 2 through 40. One more time to recap those key principles. Leave a double that breaks down and can split down. And when you can, aim for split wedges to make your job easier. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.